if you clean the bedrock condition of Minecraft, then you should know all about capes. If you go to the dressing room and you look in the cape section, we only have two capes. We have the golden creeper cape and the pin cape. But what if you wanted more to use? Well, in today's video, we're looking at a Minecraft bedrock add-on which introduces new capes that you can wear in your own world. And the best part is, it will even work with the Elytra. And I'm even going to show you how to add your own cape design. So without any ado, let's get right into the video. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing as it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you. This add-on is called Visual Capes, created by Editor1. When you're loading or creating up a world, you need to go down to Experiments, and I recommend turning on Holiday Creator Features, Upcoming Creator Features, and Moling Features. And then go down to Behavior Packs, click on My Packs, and find Visual Capes, and click Activate. Then go up to Research Packs, and make sure that's also enabled. And then click play. And one very important thing about the add-on, you need to make sure you're wearing a regular skin. If you're wearing a skin that has a cape, then this add-on will not work properly. So you need to make sure you're wearing a skin without a cape. And once you've chosen the skin that you want to use, and once you've chosen the skin that you want to use, you need to go down to the cape section and make sure none of the capes are selected. And if you do have a cape selected, just click none. And as we're going throughout today's video, we're going to showcase all the different capes, and I'll also read a fact about them, which is going to be fairly interesting. And down below in the description, you will find a link to the download, and so you can learn more about the add-on. Any commands that we use in today's video, they will be listed in the mods download page. And with that, let's begin with the first cape, which was given the jewel kiss for recreating the prismary block for use in a chisel mod rather than modifying Mojang's texture. And this is the prismary cape. And once you press this button, then we get our prismary cape. Definitely a pretty cool looking cape. And then we have Mr. Messiah's cape, which was given to Mr. Messiah as a thank you for the better light mod, which is actually responsible for fixing Minecraft's lighting. It's basically a playing card. And our next cape is the pan cape, which is available in the character creator. So if I were to pause the game and go down to the dressing room, click on change character, and I click on the cape section, then we have the pan cape. The pan cape definitely makes me hungry for pancakes. Mmm, pancakes. Then our next three capes are from employees that work on Mojang Studios. We're going to begin with the first cape, which was used in between December 20th of 2010 to October 7th of 2015. And this is what it looks like. Basically, Mojang Mojang's old logo with a brown background. Then our next cape was used from October 7th of 2015 to July 25th of 2021. This time the cape is red and the logo is white. Then we have the modern cape. I definitely prefer the second one over this one. This one just doesn't look all that great. Our next cape is the bacon cape. Mmm, for all you bacon lovers, you're gonna love this cape. This was given to Mick Lee by Notch due to his idea of the pigment. And here we go, it's basically a big slap of pork. Definitely makes a lot of people hungry. And then we have the turtle cape, which was given to Billy K for his suggestion to add turtles. This cape is a red cape with a turtle on it. I definitely like this cape, it's definitely cute. And then we have the Valentine cape, which was given to Lil Foxy 2 by Mojang employee after migration problems. And this is what the cape looks like. Now just by looking at this cape, you would think that they should have made this for Valentine's Day, because it definitely gives off those vibes. We have the pink background with the art in the lovely flower. And then we have the translator cape, which was given to proofreaders on the Minecraft translation project. It kind of reminds me of a camera a bit. And then we have the scrolls champions cape, which was given to players who got weekly first place winner badges five times on scrolls, which is another game by Mojang. Now this cape is basically a scroll. Our next cape is the Cheap Shot cape, which was given the Cheap Shot for helping Mojang in Tokyo. And this cape is very similar to what you've seen with the Translator cape. Next up, we have the Minecon capes. Our first cape is from 2011, and this is the Red Creeper cape. Minecon 2012, we got a blue cape with a golden pickaxe. Minecon 2013, we got a green cape with a piston. Minecon 2015, we got a blue cape with an iron golem. For Minecon 2016, we got the Enderman Cape, definitely one of my favorites. And then Minecon 2019, we got the Golden Creeper Cape. Which Minecon Cape is your favorite? Next up is the Moderator Cape, and this was given the Bug Tracker Moderators. And this is what the cape looks like. It's basically a flame. We have the Cobalt Cape. This cape was given to participants of the level making competitions in the Cobalt League tournaments that took place in 2016. And this is what the cape looks like. Our next cape is the Julian Clark Cape which was given to Julian Clark in return for bringing Notch, the TV presenter and actor Ray Cox. And this is what the cape looks like. It's basically just a snowman. Very good for the winter days. Next up is the Danny B style cape, 
which was given to Danny B. Style, a video game music composer, and Notch was also a big fan of. This is what the cape looks like. And then we have the Map Maker cape. This was given to Map Makers in the Java Realms content creator program, who met a criteria. And this is what the cape looks like. Definitely a pretty cool cape. We have the Migrator cape. And that was given out to all players who bought Minecraft before December 2020 and migrated their account or legacy account to a Microsoft account. And those people started getting their caves on July 30th of 2021. And next up, we have the 1 million sale cape, which was given to Akron Man 1, who is the lucky buyer of the 1 millionth Minecraft copy. And this cape is purple with a yellow star. And next up is the CN Translator cape, which is the same as the Translator cape. The back of the cape has a Chinese flag. And finally is the birthday cape, which was given the Great Escape, now named Great Bizzo. This cape is currently owned by a Mojang employee that's needing to work on Minecraft.net. And this is what the cape looks like. It's a blue cape with cake and some balloons. Now I think on Minecraft's 10th birthday, they should have given everyone this cape. I think it would have been quite fitting. Now let's say you want to remove your cape for some reason. Well, if you go to chat and you type this command, slash function, and then you type capes forward slash remove underscore cape, and you press enter, then that cape is going to get removed. Now that's basically it for all the different capes. Now if you're wearing an Elytra and you use any of these capes, the design will be shown on the Elytra. We have the Mojang cape, the Mojang 2 cape, the modern Mojang cape, the Pan cape, which it looks like it kind of breaks at the Elytra. The creator may have to look into that one. The Mr. Messiah cape, the Prismarine cape, the Cheap Shot cape, the Scrolls cape, which it looks like a pair of moth wings. The Translator cape, the Valentine's Day cape, definitely a really cool design. The Turtle cape, this one is going to be a delicious one. Oh, darn it. The bacon cape don't work. Yet again, creator, if you're watching this, please fix that. We have the moderator cape, Minecon 2015. This is Minecon 2011, Minecon 2012, Minecon 2013, Minecon 2015, Minecon 2016. Oh, that is scary looking. Definitely very scary. It looks like a very angry Enderman. Minecon 2019, that is definitely one of my favorite Elytras. We have the moderator cape. Looks like a pair of firefly wings. The cobalt cape. This design is different from the cape design. The wings are supposed to resemble one of the enemy wings. And then we have the Julian Clark cape. It kind of reminds me of the Phantom of the Opera masks. We have the Danny B style cape. The map maker cape. Looks like wings made of water. We have the migrator cape. Definitely pretty cool. The one million cell cape. The CN translator cape. And the birthday cape. Kind of reminds me of Christmas lights. But let's say you want to add your very own cape to the game. Well, let's go over that right now. If you look in the description and you paste in this directory, go over where it says username and change this to your PC name. And then press enter. Click on com.mojang. Go down to resource packs and locate visual capes. Go and open that up. Then you got to a few folders. The only folder we need to worry about the textures. So inside the cape folder, you'll find all the different cape designs. Now we're going to minimize this for a second and we're going to minecraftcapes.net. Now this is a mod that lets you use any cape you want on the Java edition. But however, they do have a gallery that you can download capes from. If I click on official gallery, we are going to get ourselves a bunch of different capes. Now you're going to want to turn off animated capes and you're also going to want to turn off ears and also turn off ears. Now from here, you have access to a bunch of different capes. So maybe you find a cape that you might like. So for this example, let's say I want to get this cape. Well, I'll just click download and then we get ourselves a cape down here. Go ahead and open your file browser again and drag this right into that folder. And now we ourselves our cape. And once you have your new cape, go ahead and choose the cape you want to replace. I'm going to replace the Croden Translator cape. So we're going to grab the name and we're going to delete the cape. Go over to the cape you just added and go ahead and rename it to that same name. And once you've done that, go ahead and relaunch Minecraft and go ahead and load up the add-on. And now that we're back inside the world, let's go ahead and try out the cape. And I believe this is the cape that we changed. Let's click on the button and yes, everything has worked properly and it definitely looks like a really cool cape. And if you're using BD Craft, this is definitely going to look really good for that. And the best part is, it even changes the Elytra. Definitely a pretty cool pair of wings. I believe it's meant to be like old paragliders. I think this might be one of the best cape add-ons that I have seen for Bedrock Edition. Definitely gives you a lot of variety and definitely looks really cool. If you guys want to get this add-on, then there will be a link in the description. And go ahead and let me know which one of these is your favorite. If you enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye!